Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 1st of December, Holy Mother, the church celebrates St. Eligius. St. Eligius is known very well in France, but the world doesn't know him. He was a saint who lived around 588 to 660 uh, AD, and he is known for his love for his people. Saint Eligius was born to Roman parents in the city of Limoges, uh, central France. Uh, a noted goldsmith and metal worker, he made the golden tr crown of the emperor then Clotaire II. Because of his holy life and incorruptible honesty, he was made the master of mint at Marcellus, where he also collected arms for the redemption of the poor captives from Saxons, Bretons, and Moors. He edified the court by following as a layman the Irish rule for monks. This is something uh, special about this saint. As a layman, he uh, practiced the Irish rule for monks, which has been introduced into Gaul by St. Columban. Elegius was responsible for founding of a number of monasteries and convents, the one in Paris sheltering no less than 300 virgins. When Dagobert I died in 639, Elegius left the court and uh, he became a priest and in the next year was elected the bishop of uh, Noyon by popular claim. The diocese which comprised the region of Flanders was still inhabited by, by, in a great extent by the pagans and the whole 20 years that he was bishop, he just put all his energies to getting the pagan people back to Christ and making those Christians live a real Christian life. And afterwards he died on 1st of December 60, 60. St. Eligius was and is loved greatly by France and especially by Flanders. He is mm, revisited as a patron of uh, uh, cab drivers and he's revered as a patron of blacksmiths. Mm, so what uh, does saint of today speak to us? What is he telling us? What is he trying to convey to us? Saint Eligius today is telling to us about the seeking for God, which will never, which will never go waste. If you really seek God, as a goldsmith he was seeking God and he was honest. That's how the Lord caught him, made him a priest, a bishop and made him a saint. His honesty, sincerity paid, paid off. Many a times in our life, we ask this question to ourselves. See, I am so honest doing so many good things. I have done no wrong to anybody. So I deserve good. Nothing wrong should happen to me. You know how many wrong things happened to St. Elegius? People tried to kill him. People tried to bear false uh, uh, witness against him. People tried to spoil his name to the core. He was never worried. And he, when he was made bishop, so many heretics were against him, against his life. He was not worried because if I'm honest in what I am doing and if I'm honest to my faith, if I'm honest to my God, my God will take care of me. Amen.